What's up guys, welcome to the first episode of the EFRTG on FIFA 22 on YouTube. Um, we're basically just jumping straight in, um, everything kicked off on the web app. At this point I was still waiting like 20 minutes for the actual thing to install on my PlayStation. So we chose France as a starter squad, um, I then chose Holland as my lone player. Maybe a bit of foreshadowing. Went with the Milan kit and the Piemonte Kelsio kit. And I just picked the Bayern badge because because why not? Um, now this first episode is all going to be post commentated. Just as everything I recorded, I recorded at 6 in the morning. And at like 7 o'clock at night after getting back home from work when I was knackered. So we got our starter packs as well as uh, the loan packs and whatever else you get. Um, a bunch of kits too. The uh, icon kits are decent. I uh, got Lone Sun. Still haven't used them yet. Now our welcome backpacks or the starter packs are actually quite decent. Um, if I remember we do get a walkout from one of them and we end up having about 16k I think at the end of it. Oh, we started off the first pack was actually an inform. Uh, he basically doesn't sell, so he's about discard price. So I think, yeah, I just ended up discarding him. Um, basically kept all the rest. The next pack is a stand. Kazawa's all right, just for the start to link with our French players. Um, now we start off with our 80 plus gold player packs. Here's where we got our very first walkout. We'll re straight off the bat. Um, he only sold for around 9,000 I think, so not too expensive at the moment. Keepers are always, I oh know not 9,000, but I think 11,000 around about there. Uh, keepers are not very uh, expensive at the start of FIFA anyway, but it's still pretty sick right off the bat. Um, also got Barnes there, decent sub I guess. The next pack we got Pedri actually, yes, decent. It's only around 2k, but still at the start that's pretty sick. And in the last pack, we got Marlin. Just sick. I think he's around 8k at the time. Yeah, around 8k, 7k there. So he actually made about 20,000 coins all up just from those um, starter packs just there. Not including a bunch of the players that we actually just kept, like the, the non-res. We just kept those rather than selling them. Um, we then completed the Let's Get Started SBCs. Pretty standard. You just have to complete those anyway just to be able to move on. Uh, in the gold pack, we actually managed to pull Lozano, which is a sick sub. And this was a quick little starter team that I was just able to make just from the web app there. And then we moved straight onto the console version, which finally finished installing. We jumped straight on. I only had 9 hours 58 minutes because I loaded it up for 2 minutes whilst I was still installing. Now, here is the main thing about this RTG. Back on FIFA 21, I had about 4,000 FIFA points on the account at the end of the game for drafts or whatever. And I didn't know that you could do a one-time transfer over, but I decided to do it then. And that's sort of when I made the decision that this wouldn't be a sort of typical um, road to glory with no money spent. Um, because I had those 4,000 points and plus we're going to get the 4,000 um, for pre-ordering as well. Um, I have still am kind of keeping it like the a road to glory in the sense that we're trying to build the best team, trying to get the best players, and, and I'm trying to finish well in champs, etc. Um, so I'm still going to keep it as the EFRTG. Um, in the first few packs we got, the first pack was Vidal, we then managed to pack an 84, we got Saka right here. Um, didn't sell for much, but it was a nice little like 2,000 coins. I ended up opening up all the FIFA points in this little run here. Um, so we ended up finishing quite the amount of coins. I just sort of kept in the, the better packs. Oh, 85 Summer there, which is decent. Doesn't sell for much, but we actually end up using him in our main team now. You guys will probably see that next episode. There is a team that I finished this episode with, but it's not the main one I'm using right now. Um, we then pulled Gaia. Pulled him a couple times actually uh, doesn't sell for too much he's capped at like 1500 coins Who'd we, pull here? we got Torres a decent little starter player actually he doesn't sell for very much again but everything counts uh, another board here is that Goosens or Goosons what's this pack here is this this is the big one right here 88 Harland in our first few packs 
first walkout on console, not including the race on the web app. And he sells for 120k. So as you can see, we had about 65k coins all there. That's just from all this stuff selling here. There was quite a few things on the next page here that didn't sell just yet. And we still hadn't listed up Harland as I wanted to actually look up his price to make sure I list him up. Put him up for about 115k, which was about 5k cheaper than the cheapest. I just wanted to make sure that he insta sold. And I'm pretty sure he sells instantly. Yep, right there. So we ended on 174k um, from those 4,000 thief points there. I then just jumped back onto Footbin actually and just created my little starter team that I'd make. I based it around Correa from Atletico Madrid. So we ended up with a La Liga left side and sort of just a, a French sort of hybrid on the right side. Um, this, this was basically my main team that I ended up using for the first few games. Um, gameplay will actually be next episode, they'll kick straight off some gameplay. Um, I just sped up here, this is me just buying all the players there. And I decided to actually go with Stegen in goal. I just thought it would be a good investment getting a high rated keeper at this point in the game. Just because they're quite cheap as well. Um, and I really wanted to test out Griezmann and Carrasco as well because I love Carrasco. Carrasco's card was so good last FIFA. And basically that's it for the first episode guys. Just sort of kicking off with the packs and getting massive pulls. We ended on quite a, a lot of coins. And we'll kick off the next episode right away with some gameplay.